This week on StarCap, TikTok cops in trouble, man kicks lunch lady in the face, alleged granny rapist claimed to be pastor, farm worker loses hundreds of thousands of dollars, and in the Tell Me Pastor review, husband won't put my name on his bank account. Wagwan Star Fam, it's your friend Kenrick, and welcome back to StarCab, a recap of the big stories that lift your attention this week. I'm a police officer. Of course criminals are going to escape in nearby bushes. Those are some of the words that landed a policewoman and a few of her colleagues in a whole world of problem last week. The cops were seen in a now viral social media video partaking in the popular I Am trend on TikTok. The trend involves identifying a group you belong to and then stating something stereotypical about that group. It usually garners thousands if not millions of views on TikTok and a whole heap of laughing. But according to the police high command, there's nothing to smile about. Instead, it said that disciplinary actions will be taken against the cops in the video as part of a broader effort to ensure JCF members act in accordance with its policies and ideals. A corporate area man was dragged before the parish court in late January after it was revealed an argument between himself and the lunch lady ended with his foot to her face. The man identified as Martin Wilkie says he visited the shop to purchase lunch when he was informed it was not yet ready. An argument eventually developed between himself and the lunch ladies at the shop which ended up escalating. Be it hungry or honor, Wilkie expressed. He was fined $250,000 for the ordeal. Well, them say a hungry man is an angry man, so. Speaking of angry, Jamaicans all across the island were angered last week to hear that the man in custody for the alleged rape of a 91-year-old grandmother was said to be a religious leader. According to the police, the man gained entrance to the woman's home by removing the blades of her window and climbing in. When she inquired about who he was and why he was there, he allegedly told her he was a pastor from a church in Montego Bay before sexually assaulting her. The woman's community has been left in a state of shock since the incident. The man who remains uncharged is still in police custody. A farm worker from Clarendon has found himself among many Jamaicans who have had money go missing from their bank accounts. The 60-year-old told the Star that at one point he had up to $850,000 in his NCB account up to last April. That has since dwindled down to a measly $30. So where did the money go? A bank statement which he provided to the Star showed that most of the monies that left his account were credited to Google as payment for in-app purchases for the games Roblox and Garena, as well as spending on TikTok Live. The man says he has no knowledge of any of these transactions. NCB says it was unable to give us the full details of the matter due to privacy concerns, but the bank advised customers to better guard their banking information. In Tell Me Pastor this week, a husband won't put his wife's name on his bank account. A newly married woman has found herself in a conundrum. Her husband's name is on everything she owns, her land title, her bank accounts, everything. She claims that's what her church taught her, and she has no problem with that. However, after two years, her husband has yet to put her name on any of his belongings, including his bank account. And to add insult to injury, when she reminds her husband that his name is on her belongings, her husband says he did not ask her to do that. Talk about shame. Shame kill me! Why? Me shame, me shame! Why? But what do you think, Star Fam? Should she remove him from her bank accounts? Is the husband hiding something? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's it for this week's Star Cap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the Jamaica Star and on X, formerly Twitter, at Jamaica Star. I'm Kenrick. Until next week, keep reading the Star, the People Paper. <laughs>